Welcome. This video is designed to get, show you guys an example of um, reading a primary source and what it might look like to do a um, analysis using HIPPO, the, um, the analysis tool that we discussed last class of historical context, intended audience, sorry, uh, purpose, point of view, and finally organization. So um, the very first and most important part of reading any document is you want to make sure that you read the source line or the title of the document because it does give you some important information like who the author might be, um, you know, what type of primary source this is, or when does it happen. So this is a letter from an indentured servant in Virginia in 1623. Uh, so this, you can tell already, was written in the early days of the Virginia um, colony as Jamestown was founded um, almost 20 years before that. Um, so fairly shortly after it was established. So you can pause the video and you can uh, read the short document. So let's look through and talk about um, each part of HIP. So historical context, when and where was the source created? So I'm not going to write these in complete sentences like I would formulate it into uh, when I'm writing an essay, but I'm just going to write some thoughts down. So when and where was the source created? So this is, it was written in 1623, and it's from Virginia. Um, so really what was going on uh, when this um, document was created, this is from the early days of uh, Jamestown, um, you know, shortly after uh, the, the Jamestown uh, colony is established. Um, so we know that the days are, uh, the, the days in the work were very difficult, very difficult living conditions, okay? And um, this guy is writing, obviously, to his parents um, and writing as an indentured servant. So I also might want to note indentured servitude was widely practiced as the main labor source. Okay, intended audience, to whom is the author talking to? So this indentured servant is obviously writing a letter to his mother and father. Okay, we can clearly tell that through the introduction. Um, but really, it's, it's more than just stating to whom is the author talking to. It's really about um, why the message is relevant. Why is he talking to his mother? and father. Um, what's he really saying in, in the message? He's basically describing how much his life um, living in Virginia as an indentured servitude um, is terrible, right? Um, you know, everything makes me sick, um, you know, scurvy, my body is very poor and weak, um, he does not have a, a shirt, he doesn't have any clothes, and he's wearing like two burlap rags, essentially. Um, he doesn't have shoes, his cloak was stolen. So really, it's he's writing to his mother and father. Um, you know, that's, that's to whom he's talking to, but it's also why is that important? Um, so he's writing to his mother and father uh, to describe his um, state of really unhappiness in Virginia. And this is where you can really, um, really, I think intended audience in explaining why you're kind of naturally going into purpose. Um, so why does this author create this document? What is he trying to do? How is he trying to make his parents feel, right? He's trying to, this, the, his tone is very unhappy. Um, he's trying to, um, really his, his message is to, um, kind of almost, uh, make his parents be 
feel sad or really ashamed of sending him to Virginia as an indentured servant. Um, he, he's really trying to, um, he's also another way you could do, he's describing uh, the terrible conditions in Virginia and his life as an indentured servant. Point of view, what is the author's background or position, um, how, and how does that impact the message? So we definitely know that he is, he's definitely from England, we know that about his bio. He is an indentured servant in Virginia. Notice up at the top though, as for, he says, as for deer and venison, I never saw any since I came to this land. Um, so. It seems as if he um, was not wealthy, but you know, not destitute in England, um, because you know he's he's sad about the fact that he doesn't have any clothes, and he has uh, his cloak was stolen, so he is used to having some products um, and some comforts of home. So you know, his point of view, he's an indentured servant, but he's also probably most likely from a middle class upbringing and that's because uh, what I just talked about he's kind of lamenting this loss of um, how much life in Virginia is so terrible as compared to England that's what he's making allusions to all right and the last part organization is when you have a prompt uh, how can you use this document to support your thesis? Kind of putting it into groups. It's a little bit difficult to do since we don't have a prompt right now, um, but you can use organization to put a category in here. Um, and if we're writing a prompt about uh, the Bacon's Rebellion turning point, you can use this as a way to help set up uh, background information about the, the, um, the status of indentured servants before Bacon's Rebellion. Uh, that's how I would really use this document. Okay, guys, so I hope that helps uh, using HIP to analyze documents.